good afternoon or good evening or good morning from every part of the world this is Tony HP and welcome to a new edition of my videos so thank you so much for being here today as you know you uh, I know you may notice a change of scenery here I think I'm doing my first video on the road um, because I've been doing it most you know all my videos have been done with the exception of the Star Wars convention uh, have been done in my my you know my house in my office so it's great to do this you know to do this video for a change and I want to thank you all again for being here today so let's make it the very best of today so I just wanted to say uh, I'm currently doing a series called the Optus and Mouse Bridger Success um, the last uh, part one um, you know if any of you have not watched the video yet which I highly suggest is that uh, we're talking about the current employment situation for adults with autism and Alzheimer's and the challenges that they're going through as at, at this moment and I opened the forum to talk about po possible solutions to help the autistic Asperger adult population to become not only employed but to have an opportunity to become entrepreneurs in other words to be successful and have a shot of, of, of that ladder of success just like the rest of us you know the rest of the society so in part two I'm going to talk about skills I'm going to talk about like what are the first steps that need that can be taken towards finding um, you know the first steps that, they, that can be taken to help uh, your child you know where you know your child with autism and Alzheimer you know regardless of whether he or she is, you know, she's still, he or she is still a, a kid or a teenager or an adult. Uh, my purpose with this video is to take the steps necessary to help your child with autism and with Alzheimer uh, to be successful, you know, to have a high quality of life. So I think the first steps that, you know, based on my experience dealing with my, you know, with Alzheimer's and my experience, uh, you know, helping, you know, you know, families with autism, you know, families with kids and adults with autism. I think the first step that we need to take is do like a strength and weaknesses, uh, strengths and weak, you know, finding the strength, the strength, sorry about that, the strength and the weakness of of your child with autism and Alzheimer's. You know, what are the pros and cons that your child has? You know, what does he or she likes? You know what they enjoy the most, what they hate the most, what is the thing that they do the easiest, what are the things that do the hardest. We need to do like an analysis of your child with autism and Alzheimer's, and see and find like a like you know this helps us in knowing what are they good at, and and go from there. You know some people may like uh, computers. And, you know finding and doing this analysis, they can see that perhaps they can work. And you know the job, you know that requires you know dealing with computers, or they can become an entrepreneur, and doing a computer business or something like that. So, or if you like, if you like like you know if, if your child likes you know math, for example, then you can take him or she through that trajectory. So what I'm trying to say is we need to find a way. Uh, this is like the, one of the first steps that can be taken towards knowing more about. What are the strong and weak points of your child with autism and Alzheimer? And then find a way to work on a plan towards how that will lead him or her to success, which is the key uh, well, for, of this video. Because um, based on my experience, you know, based on my experience, I didn't, I, I really didn't, that analysis my parents never didn't really do that analysis for me uh, when I was growing up and I just started doing that analysis just recently it has really helped me in identifying what are my strong and weak points and work with those you know with the strong points and go from there as it relates to moving towards my career so it's very crucial to be able to start working knowing more about your child you know the strong and weak you know strong and weak points what they enjoy, what they don't, you know, what they don't like, and go from there. Just, you know, find a way that, because I know 
that no matter the disability, no matter the struggles that your child with autism and Asperger are going through, I really I know, based on my experience of life since I've been here, that your child with autism has something here to contribute. And as I said, this very this is the first step, it's first step towards unlocking unlocking your child's potential. So if you you know if you have any ideas, any suggestions as as a way to identify the strong and weak points of your shell, you know, write down in the comment below and we we'll able to have a great you know, good discussion of this. This is very important. Uh, as I said, the overall purpose of this video is to take the first steps towards helping your child to become successful in life. And using autism and Asperger's is not and sin liability, but using as your greatest asset in life. So in the next video, we're going to continue about different ways that we can start this process towards helping your child become successful in life. At another time, I will also do uh, a similar series uh, for people with other disabilities. Uh, so, you know, other people that don't have autism and Asperger's, um, helping find a way so they can become employed or have, you know, overall have a great you know, career and have a great life. So I want to thank you all for being here today. If any questions, any comments, write down below. And my apologies for, you know, if I was not very clear in, in some points. If there's anything that you want me to, you know, you know, all of you want me to clear up, I will gladly do so. As I said, this is my first time doing my video on the road, so um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do more of these on in the near future, right? So thank you so much for being here today, uh, and let's start. Let's get to work. So thank you. And have a great day. And this is Tony HP. And see you all. Bye-bye.